Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a video on how to ride a motorcycle for the very first time. If you've never ridden a motorcycle, we're going to talk about the three most important things you need to learn when riding a motorcycle. They are how to shift, how to brake, and counter steering. In other words, how to shift the gears on the motorcycle, how to stop the motorcycle, proper braking techniques, and counter steering. Now there's more to riding a motorcycle than that, but these are the three foundations of motorcycle riding. If you can learn those three things, the rest is pretty easy. Now we have this camera here that is a hands-free camera, so let me get it situated. It should only take me about 10 seconds. And then once it's situated, we are going to be taking you on a real motorcycle ride in first person mode. Okay, it looks like it's situated, so let's get started. And we're gonna get on the bike, and then we're going to be telling you what each lever does, how to shift, all those things. Now, I uh, ride a 600, so we're borrowing this motorcycle because this is the type of motorcycle that people start off on. This is a Kawasaki Ninja 250R. The 250R is a little sportier. The motors, I like the motor a little bit better than the standard 250. It's a very light bike. It is freeway legal, so it does keep up on the freeways. You need a 250 in California minimum to go on the freeway. So let's get started, shall we? Let's start with what everything does. Now, we're gonna get on the motorcycle and this here is the kill switch you want to get in the habit of flipping this on and off and on and off so if something happens you need to shut the power down on the bike right away you flip this off and the power shuts down let's talk about the right side of the bike traditionally on japanese motorcycles the right side is all braking this is the front brake and then this lever here see where the stick's at here is the rear brake my foot goes like this and my toe pushes right here pushes down there for the brake to go the rear brake to go on this is the front brake that you apply here this is the throttle so twisting it this way like that will add speed to the motorcycle will will really uh, accelerate the bike faster you want to get used to using the throttle in a safe fashion. Now this is the starter right here. This button. This is a little device you can get for your motorcycle. It holds your cell phone on there so you could use your GPS on your cell phone to get places. Let's work right to left. This is the fuel gauge. I haven't started the bike yet but you'll notice that'll go up when we started. This is the speedometer here and this is the tachometer right here. Notice it red lines at 13,000. Let's start on the left side of the bike. Now we're going to get off for this because I want to show you something. This is the uh, clutch lever. Now, those of you that have ridden a motor, a, uh, sh I shouldn't say motorcycle, a manual stick shift vehicle, car or truck, you'll take to motorcycle riding a little easier. Um, I would suggest learning to ride a, drive a stick shift vehicle before you learn to shift gears on a motorcycle and then you'll take to it a lot easier. And it's safer to learn how to shift on a four-wheel vehicle than it is on a two-wheel vehicle for obvious reasons. But this is the clutch lever. Now, these are the brights. You click that up, the brights go on. This is the choke lever. This is a carbureted bike. So if it's cold in the morning, we really don't have this problem out here in sunny California. But if it's cold in the morning, you'll flip that. And as the motor warms up, you can adjust it lower. It makes this little lever here makes it easier to start. This is the horn right here. This is the turn signal. You turn left, you turn right, and notice it says off if you push this way. You just push in and the turn signal goes off. Now, let's spend some time here on the gear shift lever. You see these little vents here like this? Very hot in California, so let me open the visor a little bit. We're like a 107 today. Um, notice this is like a ladder one two three four well I'm gonna use this as a little example that's very similar how this shift lever is imagine a ladder 
and you have the first rung of the ladder and as you go up and down the ladder you have second third fourth gear etc that's exactly how this is so you put your foot underneath this peg here and when you when you start off on a motorcycle it's going to be a neutral so on the ladder all the way down on a shifting the shifting ladder here is first gear so when you start off on the motorcycle you're a neutral you'll kick down to the very first rung of the ladder if you will that's first now what's interesting on a motorcycle the next slight kick up is neutral and then if you kick up from neutral you'll be in second and if you kick up from second you'll be in third of course the bike needs to be moving to basically propel you through this so remember this is a six gear bike so when you're coming to a stop we want you to go from six to fifth and you're downshifting as you're braking to fourth third second and then you could actually go into neutral at a light so we're going to be showing you this how to stop how to counter steer how to shift gears and we're going to do it in this these three steps number one is we pull this lever in and we hold it squeezed to the handlebar this is nothing right here this is just a handlebar this doesn't turn or anything so we're going to pull this in and hold it we're going to kick down to first gear then we're going to let this out slowly while giving it throttle and now we're in first gear so let's do that okay we don't need our improvised laser pointer anymore <laughs> let's uh, get going notice we turn the key on we're going to start it watch the tack as we rev it a little you ready all right let's get ready notice the neutral lights on always make sure that the uh, kickstand goes up your feet are solidly planted <coughs> excuse me can't wait to go it's very hot today notice it's a neutral I pull the clutch lever in it's still a neutral when I kick down watch notice it's now in first gear even though I have the clutch lever on that's why we're not moving have the clutch lever you know squeezed I should say so watch if I slightly kick up with the clutch lever squeezed watch how it goes into neutral see that <coughs> so you want to get used to that we're gonna go on the road in a minute and I can't wait because I got to get some air in here so um, watch this we're gonna pull the clutch lever in at the count of three we're gonna kick down one two three see that neutral light goes off we're gonna kick up neutral light goes off it uh, goes on again now notice I can release the clutch lever clutch lever in kick down it's off clutch lever shift up I should say and now release the clutch lever we're in neutral notice that let's get going so when you're new it's good to start like this pull the clutch lever in kick down keep both feet down and let the clutch out give it a little throttle keep both feet down let it walk you let go of the clutch lever and you'll notice you're actually going pull your feet up on the pegs give it a little bit of throttle notice we're going real slow don't worry we're going to go real fast i promise <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's not spend a lot of time moping along here. We're going to turn around, and now this is a great place to practice. Watch how I go into second. Clutch lever in, keep it in, kick up, release, and now I'm into second. Now watch the neutral light. I'm going to slightly kick down. I'm going to pull the clutch lever in and slightly kick down. Remember the ladder? It's neutral right here. Then, I'm sorry, the second right here, and then neutral, and then first. Second's here, then neutral, then first. So we're in second now, right here. We're going to kick down just slightly. Notice we're in neutral. Now we're going to come to a stop, slowly squeezing the brake. Always make sure that your handlebars are straight when you come to a stop. Don't be like this, because when you stop, you'll lean and you'll fall over. Major problem that people do. So let's do it again one more time and then we're out on the streets and then we're going to see if we can we better go because we don't have much recording time with this. So we're in first. Watch this. First, clutch in, kick up. Now we're in second. Clutch in, kick up third. Now watch. Clutch in, kick down second. See how we're going up and down the ladder. We're in second. 
Now as car there, watch, clutch in, slightly kick down, applying the brakes so I don't have to hold the clutch lever. Now we're going to go out on the road. And then we'll get on the freeway. So we're going to show you stopping. Notice, handlebars are straight when I stop. See that? You keep them straight. Here comes the traffic. Now we're going to go through it very fast. First, second, third, fourth, sixth. All the way up to sixth. I know I skipped fifth, but you get the idea. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So here we go after this car. So you get ready to go. I don't really keep it in first till I'm getting ready. Clutch lever in, kick down, give it a little bit of throttle. You release the clutch lever. Clutch lever in, kick up second. And this is how you go. Clutch lever in, kick up third. Clutch lever in, kick up fourth. Now I release the throttle, watch. Clutch lever in, kick up fifth. See how I release? Then once the clutch lever is released, I roll back onto the throttle. We're gonna go up to six. No one's behind me so I can show this to you, watch. Clutch lever in, kick up to six. Notice the throttle's released. Release the clutch lever and then roll on. Now you can do it a lot faster than that. We're gonna show you on the freeway. So let's get some speed. Hopefully I come to a stop. I wanna show you how we stop. Hold on my nose in. The way you wanna stop, you don't just pull the clutch lever in and stop unless it's an emergency stop. What you're gonna do, you're gonna downshift as you come to a stop. So watch this. Let's see if this is going to stop us. It doesn't look like it. Notice I'm still in six. Still in six. Still in six. We're going to get on the freeway here. Okay, looks like we're coming to a stop after the screen light, so watch this. Clutch lever in, kick down to fifth. You could also, you want to adjust the gear you're in based on the speed you're going. So I'll keep it in fifth. All right, we got the red arrow, watch. I'm in fifth, clutch lever in, kick down fourth. I'm squeezing the brake. Clutch lever in, kick down third. Clutch lever in, kick down second. Slight tap down from second. Look at the neutral light, see that? But you notice how I came to a stop. I don't do it, we don't wanna do it the amateur way where you just pull the clutch lever in, you come to a complete stop and you're still in sixth gear. Then you try to tap down to find first but in the meantime, the light changes on you and now you're in big trouble and you get ran over because you can't get your bike into gear. So you always want to be downshifting as you're approaching the light. So if I'm going about 50 on this bike, you could stay at six. When I'm getting down to 40 or 30, I'll start downshifting fifth, fourth, and thus and so. Each bike's different. Clutch lever in, kick down to first. Now we're gonna go through this fast. Clutch lever in, kick up to second, release the clutch, roll on the throttle. Clutch lever in, kick up to third. Let's see if this 250 has any power. <laughs> clutch lever in, kick up. Clutch lever in, kick up. Kick up, I wish I had nine more gears. Clutch lever in, kick up. Now, we're already in sixth gear. We're on the freeway, we're gonna show you a little bit of counter steering here. Okay, pick up some speed here. Getting a lot of wind buffeting from this giant thing in the van in front of us. Counter steering is very interesting. You must learn how to do it. If I'm going to go right at a very fast rate of speed, what I'm going to do when I'm counter steering is I'm going to pull this handlebar back towards me just slightly. And this I'm going to apply pressure outward this way, and what this does, I'm going to show you why we're going straight. Watch how I go into the right lane. Just this little pressure. They shouldn't really call it counter steering. They should call it counter pressure or counter lean. I'm going to pull back towards me on this handlebar. Watch what happens. I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to pull back towards me on the right handlebar. Watch what happens. I'm going to go to the left. So what we're going to do now, we're going to show you a little bit of freeway riding, then we're going to show you some counter steering, and um, notice on the freeway, not much shifting involved. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull towards me on the left, so that I'll lean the bike to the right. Watch. 
and I'm going to push forward a little bit here, just a little. Why would this person brake? <laughs> Notice we're not braking, we're counter steering a little here. We're in six. And we're going to keep it in six. When you're riding, if it's your first time on the freeway, you're going to be pretty terrified. It is pretty intimidating the first time, all these vehicles around you. But this is a great bike uh, for maneuverability. So notice we're picking up speed, and I'm going to see if I can hit from this car right here. Signal. Now notice the signal's blinking still. See it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward there and the signal goes off. Now we're going to get in this lane. Signal. Notice the signal's blinking. I'm going to signal to the right now. I push this to the right like that. Signaling to the right. Now I'm going to push in on the button. Turn signals off. That's how it works. Very, very easy. We're not going too fast here, but notice you can tuck down. It really makes a big difference on uh, the wind around here. So the hardest thing is really getting it into first gear. That's one of the things you're going to have a challenge. Getting the bike going without stalling it. Remember what I'm about to tell you. When you're about to take off on the motorcycle, okay? Make darn sure, make sure that both of your feet are planted on the ground and once you feel the bike is moving forward, you know, you're lifting your legs up and then bring your feet back up onto the pegs, but make sure your bike is moving forward. You don't want to stall the bike and your feet are up on the pegs and then Sometimes what happens, you've moved the bike into first gear and it locks it. It's like the motor's locked because you're in gear, but there's no power. And then you stall the bike, your feet are up on the pegs and you fall over because you can't put your foot down fast enough. It happens very fast. So when you're new, make sure the bike is starting to move. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift your feet up off of the ground, you know, you could even lift it up, but keep them kind of ready in case you stall it. This is only when you're like really, really new. Okay, now watch. We're in sixth gear. Coming down to a stop. This bike, you can really stay in sixth gear for a long time. I'm going to downshift to fifth. I am not braking yet. We're just, okay, now I'm braking. Slowly brake, clutch in, kick down to fourth, clutch in. Now watch this. I slightly keep tapping down until I go into neutral. Now both feet are on the ground, your hands do not need to be holding the clutch lever. You put it in neutral, it's good to put it in neutral when you have a bunch of cars in front of you like this because if you have it in first and someone bumps you, you can fall off your bike and your bike just lurches out and it's a danger. Clutch in, kick down, keep the clutch lever in, notice. Slowly let the clutch out, give it some throttle right here on the right clutch in, release throttle, kick into second, now you go back onto the throttle again. Clutch in, kick up to third, release the clutch lever, slowly get back on the throttle again. Now watch this, we're coming to a stop, we're in third, starting to brake, clutch in, kick down to second. Now this is what you want to do, watch, you're in second, clutch in, slightly kick down, the neutral light goes on, you see that? Let's talk about the shift ladder. When you're new, it's okay to count gears. What do I mean by that? Remember, when you go into second, say second. When you go into third, say three. When you go into four, say four, five, six. When you shift down from six, say five. You know, remind yourself what gear you're in because when you're looking at the scenery or if you're riding with some buddies and you forget what gear you're in, you're kind of talking to each other, it, it, you can mess yourself up. So. Remember the gear shift pattern. Six gears at the very top, like a ladder, then fifth, fourth, third, second, neutral, and then first, okay? So 
now we still got traffic going here so we're just kind of kicking back once you see the traffic is getting ready to go you're going to pull the clutch lever in do this way ahead of time of don't wait till last minute pull the clutch lever in three two one neutral lights out because i kicked into first hold the clutch lever wait for that light to go i don't really have the brake on because i'm on a flat surface sometimes if you're on the brake if you're on a, a heel i should say you got to hold the brake in like that <coughs> excuse me so now what we're going to do, we're going to show you, let the clutch out, give it a little throttle, clutch in, kick up the second, clutch in, kick up the third. Notice we're staying in third because it's red. No sense to upshift and, you know, when you know you're going to stop. Clutch in, kick down to second, slowly braking. I'm still in second. Clutch in, down to neutral, clutch in first. Kind of coasting here. Clutch in, kick up to second. Clutch in, kick up to third. We're going to stay in third because we have this light here. Now we're get coming up to some little twisties. Bear with me. We're going to get at some good speeds here in a moment. Clutch in, kick down to second. Slightly kick down to neutral. See how I did that? Now I'll go into first. I haven't put my foot down. I won't put my foot down on this one. You just kind of balance it. That little smart car. Okay, we're in third. Clutch in, kick up to fourth. We got a red light way up there. Right here in front of this car in front of me. So notice we're in fourth. See how I do it? Slowly coming down here, clutch in, kick down to third. Now what I'll do is I'll tap slightly till I see that neutral light. See that? And my feet are down. I'm just kind of walking it. That's how you do it. You notice <laughs> there's a lot of shifting. Clutch in, kick down to first. This is why we're going through shifting. Give it some throttle. Clutch in, kick up to second. Third. Finally, we're going to get some good speeds. Still in third. Fourth. You want to keep the uh, tack and the high RPMs there, fifth, to get a little more, you know, power on this 250. We're using this bike, we're borrowing this one for the training because most people don't start off on like 600s, you know, and I have a 600. Most people aren't going to start off with that type of motorcycle. Um, so we want to make it relevant. But we're going to go up to six. Now we're at the top here, going over a little crest of a hill here. And we're heading towards some twisties, okay? So. Counter steering is very important to learn. A lot of people will just stay on the straight streets and you don't really use a lot of counter steering. By the way, I'm in six coasting. And But then you're on the freeway, downshift to fifth, and you still braking, hold on. Fourth, third, I'll release on third, slow it down, second. Notice I'm in second. Now that's a good example of why you want to be downshifting. You see that? Notice the, the light changed, but it's okay because I was downshifting and I was in the relevant gear for the speed I was going. You always want to be upshifting and downshifting, matching the speed of the motorcycle. But um, like I was saying, you'll see these videos on YouTube where the guy crashes and he's going so slow around a corner. What the heck happened? He doesn't know how to counter steer. That's usually what it is. It's usually a new person. I'm in second right now. Third. Fourth. So let's talk about counter steering. Counter steering is, uh, good, this guy's going around because I'm going to be doing counter steering. I want to show you what it is. What counter steering is, is if I'm going to go right, I'm going around a corner to the right, I'm going to pull this back towards me. In other words, like I'm moving the handlebars like this. 
instead of like I'm turning to the right. That's why they call it counter steering. So let's hope this road goes through here. This is a great road for twisting. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to do counter steering and awesome the road does go through. There's a lot of corners here. I'm not going to use counter steering here because we're just really going smooth. But you use counter steering when you're kind of going at a good clip. So downshifting to second. Up here there's a lot of curvy roads. So notice I'm in neutral first and let the counter steering begin. So you want to practice counter steering. You could do it when you're going straight. But we're going to show you what it is here. You've got to master this. You've got to learn it if you're going to be riding. Shifting up to fourth. So a good way to do it is just go side to side. Kind of get the feel of your bike. Fifth. You want to get some speed though. Here we go. This is a good example of counter string. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to push forward on the left handlebar like this and see how it leans it you want to be able to kind of lean the bike lean it left and right like that like you're slicing through it like a knife get in the habit of leaning the bike don't be afraid especially if you got a bike like this it's very agile they race these bikes you know I mean you could literally get sideways like that like scraping the peg so we're gonna go all the way up to six and um, now watch these corners. If I could show you some stuff. Okay, so perfect. We're gonna pull back towards us on the left handlebar, slightly giving pressure here to watch. Hit this a little faster. See how we're doing that? See how it's holding it? We're actually leaning like this through the whole thing. That's counter steering. You gotta learn that. Now here's one here where I'm going to pull towards me on this handlebar like this and slightly give pressure out and you hold it as you're going around the corner. Let's let these guys go. Okay, good. Let's speed it up. Watch. It'll come to you naturally, but don't be afraid of it. They really shouldn't call it counter steering. That's why people freak out about it. It should be just called leaning properly or something. But counter steering, it seems like it's an oxymoron and it freaks people out. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Sharp right corner. We're going to pull the handlebar here on the left towards us, giving pressure outward on the right handlebar. Now we're going to go left here. So I'm going to pull towards me here. Hold on a second. Downshifting. A lot of counter steering here. All right, let's pick up some speed. We're going to let them get ahead of it so I can give you what I promise you, some good speeds. So, we have donkeys the next three miles, it says. So, you ready? Set. Let's do it. I know this area has some really good corners. Right here, so. Gee, the people are just right there. Okay, so we're going to go right. We're going to pull this hill back towards us. Why? We're actually in sixth gear here. Definitely you got to do counter steering here. See, you've got to learn it. This bike, it's so easy to counter steer though. It's like effortless. Some bikes you really, like my 600, I got to throw it into the corner with the counter steering. This is a great bike to learn the counter steering. Pulling back towards me on the right handlebar right there. That we're leading. And you just hold that pressure there like that. Okay. Sun's in my eyes. Let's see what we got here coming up. Just 
you know, when you're going straight, find a road. Um, all right, 50 miles per hour. Goes back. <clears throat> okay, so let's try to take this one at a good clip to our left. Pull back towards me on the right. Okay, you just hold it like that. And as you're coming out of the corner, you just straighten it out like that. See how, watch how I, let me just come show you. Left to right, like that, let's do it. Left to right. Just kind of get used to leaning it like that. Left to right, practice that. Good to do it in the morning um, after your tires are warmed up. If you want your tires warmed up to grip better. So um, we're going to be coming to a stop. So I think we got stopping down, right? Braking. You're downshifting as you're braking. So you want to time it. It does take some thought to it. You just don't brake when you want or start downshifting when you want. You have to predict it. You see a stop sign up there. What I usually do is, as I'm approaching the stop sign, I go through different stages. First, I coast. Yeah, we're definitely going to come back because these people are going very slow. That would have been a good corner to show you, but everyone's going so slow. Okay. So we're definitely going to come back. I'll show you some good footage on the way back. But um, I go through different stages. On Oh, wait, here's one. Very good one there. That was a good example. So you got to learn how to counter steer. That was a good example. Otherwise, people, oh, I'm taking the corner too fast, and they're trying to stand up straight why they're trying to go around the corner, of course you're going to crash. You know, you can have a lot of confidence in your motorcycle. The tires were designed to lean like that. Okay, sixth gear, watch this. Downshift fifth, I'm braking, release. Downshift fourth, release. I have my hand on the brake, downshift third, downshift second, first. I'm just going to go into first here because this light's going to change any second. So if you know the light's going to change, just get right into first. Notice I can just keep going. Very short throw in first. That's we're already in second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, we got a 20 mile per hour corner here. What are we going to do to the right? We're going to pull left towards us here and push out this way. This is 20 mile per hour corner, so for sure uh, that's a slow speed. I'll be able to show you. Braking, um, it goes through different stages. You know, you can sort of start coasting first if you have time, if the lights or stop signs way ahead of you. You just start coasting because your bike's still going to be moving, but it'll start slowing down, of course, because you've let off the throttle. And then as you're getting closer, you're still moving. You want to, you could downshift. And then as you're still moving, but the, the speed is sort of like a bar graph, it's going down very smooth. And then you start downshifting, you start braking as you're downshifting, and then you stop. So it's sort of like a bar graph. You see the bar is getting smaller and smaller as you're braking. Um, that's a good way to explain it. All right, so we're going to go back, show you some uh, counter steering after we brake here. One more brake, and, and I think you got it. Freeway riding, just you know, stay away from vehicles if you can help it create your own little safe little bubble when you're freeway riding. Alright, so here we go. Let's um, let's go right here and we're going to turn around and we'll be able to do it at a faster clip. We'll say this is the more advanced version. You see all this gravel right here? Got to be careful. Alright, so just stop here a second. 
just stop to show you something. Uh, this is good behind this guy's. Oh no, forget that. I was gonna say, but we'll park behind this person's car, but the lady's getting out. Um, oh, we'll turn around right here. This is good. Okay, balancing over here. So, let's stop here. So. See how this shuts the vehicle off? See how it did it? It just killed it. This is what you want to get used to right here, the kill switch. So, um, we'll use this for our laser point. Here's the gear shift lever. Remember, six gears. You start off, you're in neutral. You're going to kick up to first, and then you kick up again to second. Um, I'm sorry, remember, it's first, neutral, second. So you're going to kick up to uh, neutral from first, and then if you go a, another kick up from neutral, you're in second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Then the gears going down, it's sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, neutral, first. Now, when you're shifting, this is the part that confused me. I'm like, well... How does it work? I mean, is it going up each time? You're, no, it's like a hinge on a door like this. You're just shifting first, second, third, fourth, like that. It's kind of, you know, like that. That's a good way of, of saying it. All right, let's go back. Um, notice bike won't start because I have the kill switch on. Um, what you could do, uh, if you guys like this, Click where it says uh, my channel name there, and you can see some more videos where I show you how to ride a 600, a bike that has a little more power to it. So, um, we'll just probably, we're going to run out of battery time by the time we um, get through with this. So, let's see if I can get you in some advanced riding now. We'll go to a little faster clip. Okay, so I'm in second, third. Notice we're still in third, 9,000 RPMs, fourth, fifth, sixth. Very excellent bike for people that, if you have, if you live in an area like this where there's a lot of twisties and stuff, but yet you do have some freeways, this is a great bike because it, it'll do both but where it really shines is like right here in the twisties very light very flickable very forgiving you can keep it in six gear going at 60 or 30 or 70 or even 25 you know it'll it'll let you it's got a real big six gear where you can kind of shift or stay in six gear i should say without having to shift you know you can just switch those speeds okay Counter steering though, you've got to learn that. That's the thing that you can get hurt if you don't know how to do it. Go on a straight road like this and the, watch what happens. Uh, pull this handle towards me, see how it's starting to go to the left. Watch, pull the handle towards me, see how it's turning it. Even though we're literally going straight. I'm gonna pull this handle towards me this way here. Watch, right here, watch how it leads. Yeah, it does that. Pull it towards me, the left one here, and it'll lean it to the right. It's sort of like leaning, you know, you're just shifting the direction of the bike with this counter leaning phenomenon. And of course, my left, the 30 mile per hour corner, pulling towards me here, left. Cars are in front of me, I wish they weren't. This would be a great place for me to show you right here, but let's see, we're approaching this real fast. We're gonna to pull towards me here on the right. I'll even do it right now, see how it does it. Do not pass. I think there's a place for that where I can pass. But um, practice it when you're going straight. Don't be scared of it. Embrace the counter steer. So watch this. Um, I'm going to pull towards me on the left here. Watch what happens. 
See how it starts doing that? Pull towards me on the right. Starts doing that. Very, very easy to understand. Pull towards me on the left. Pull towards me on the right. Um, if you're going to be a new rider and you're going to be going on the freeways a lot and you maybe practice on a 250 or, or you're very, very safe, in some ways a 600 is safer on the freeway because you're just going straight. And the big difference between the 600 and a, like a 250 is that first gear, you know, you have a lot of power to it so you can flip it up over you or flip it out from underneath you if you're just real quick on the throttle on a 600. But on the freeway on a 600, you feel so much more safe because you have so much more power on tap. Um, I know there's a big debate where people say um, you should start on a 250 and you know for roads like this I would agree but you know 250 is scary on the freeway so I guess it depends on where you you're going to be riding. Alright the guy's picking up some speed. Um, I do a comparison between the 600 and 250, the pros and the cons. If you click below this video or if, if you've seen a motorcycle helmet icon on this video during any time, I think if you restart the video, you'll notice the first minute there's a motorcycle icon on the video. Click that icon and um, it'll take you to my channel. You know when it's really, really hot, you can get a jacket like this. See up close, see the little holes in the jacket. And then there's a liner. I don't have the liner on right now. You, you put the liner on when it's real cold. And when it's real hot, you uh, take the liner off and then the air just blows through it. Here. All right, buddy, he's picking up speed fun. But this bike is the uh, Kawasaki Ninja 250R. It just handles so well. It just gives you so much confidence around the corners. One of the things I notice is how high the pegs are, the foot pegs. When I go around a corner, the pegs don't scrape like on my 600. You know, this bike was made to go around in the twisties. I mean, the pegs are very high on the bike. I haven't scraped them yet. And I've been down, uh, not on this video, but around some of these corners, um, pretty sideways, and it still doesn't scrape them. You take this sharp outside and lean into the left like that. Let's see if this person puts the brake on. I'm going to say they don't. Okay. Don't you hate it when you're riding and there's like, there's nothing to put your brakes on about. People are braking around the corner like, they're scared the car is going to tip over. People don't have a lot of faith in their vehicles. And of course, they're going right. Same place. I'm going. All right, so we got the green arrow. I'm going to downshift to third. I'm not braking, just turning into it, giving it throttle actually. We're in third. Come on, buddy. Let's take this point. This is the one I wanted to take at a faster clip. I'm in fourth. Watch, he's probably going to break here. My life. Don't break. Don't break. Do not break. There we go. Good. I can show you this counter steering. Pulling towards me with this left handlebar seat. Very steep hill here. Top of the world looking down on creation, as the song says. <laughs> yeah, I'm downshifting to third because this guy's 
going very smooth. Up shifting to fourth. Coming downhill. Up shifting to fifth. Wait a minute. Okay. Now I'm up to sixth. Now, see how the bike's very balanced. Most bikes are like that. See how my hands are not on the handlebars? But I'm hitting some rough terrain here, so I better put my hands on the handlebars. But you see how you could basically... balance the bike like that. It's very well balanced. You ever ride a jet ski and you try to tip the jet ski over and it doesn't, you know? Now, right here, I'm in fifth. Just downshift a little bit. And now we're in fifth. We're coming to a stop. Stopping very, very important. <laughs> this is learning how to brake. That is crucial. So what we're gonna do, sorry this rough road here. We're in fifth, slowly braking. Notice I'm in fifth, downshift to fourth, release the clutch. I'm in fourth. Slowly braking, downshift to third. See how I'm timing it? Slowly braking, downshift to second. I'm going to stay in second. And here we go. So, that was a blast. What do you learn? Counter steering, how to brake, how to practice counter steering. Remember, just lean the bike, pull the handlebars towards you uh, so you get the effect of it. We're going up to six, we're all the way to six already. Um, we learned how to brake, and I'm going to show you one last braking here in the, in the video. Don't forget to visit our website, click right below this video, stop by, say hi. Um, remember when we brake, we will coast, notice we're still going, let's see, I can't see if the light's green or red. 